Welcome guys to the second video in our multi-part series all about lithium batteries and their advantages to the RV lifestyle. We've got David Bayless from BM Pro and Ryan Hammond from Century. Now Century is an absolute specialist in the lithium uh, technology. Um, so we've done a lot of articles recently in Go RV all about you know the weight issues for caravans, tear, ATM, GTM and what have you. Um, and people need to understand that when it comes to a standard lead acid battery, these things are heavy. I mean, if you were to do a, a serious lead acid setup in your in your van, you might be adding what up to 100 kilos. Easily. Yeah. So, what are the advantages, uh, Ryan or David, uh, to opting for lithium instead of a lead acid setup? Well, the big thing that we're seeing in a simpler lead, uh, in a simpler lithium setup is that you can use one 100 amp hour lithium battery which effectively in, in lifetime capacity, which we'll get into in another series, but it, it really is essentially the double of a sealed lead acid battery. So two AGM 100 amp hour batteries can deliver the same power as what a 100 does. In that, you're talking 12, 13 kilos versus you know, 50 to 60 kilos plus. So that's a big consideration when you're looking at putting it into, especially some of these lighter weight vans. So what about the storage though of, of these batteries? I mean, I assume they still need to be as accessible as a, as a lead acid battery would be? Yeah, you put them in exactly the same area. You put them nice and close to the charger. So do they require ventilation? No, look, it's not really necessary for them. They're normally in a reasonably sized compartment. So there's lots of space around there. You've just got to make sure that people are not storing pillows and dunas and all those types of things, which we have seen from time to time in that area because storage is, a, is a, at a premium in an RV. I mean, speaking of storage, I've heard people say that, you know, you can install your lithium battery on their sides. I mean, well, is there any truth to that? Yeah, that's no problems. There, there's no, uh, there's no liquid components within the, um, within the uh, lithium battery. So there's no problems, uh, installing them really in any, any orientation. And a lithium battery is more or less the same size and shape of a lead acid battery. Is that by design or is that a coincidence? Uh, we, we, that was by design actually. We, we saw that there was a real opportunity for a sealed lead acid replacement with, uh, with lithium. So we went down the path of utilising the same case sizes as a standard sealed lead acid and uh, where possible trying to get as much capacity out of the same uh, case size but we've, uh, we've concentrated on utilising the same case sizes as your standard sealed lead acid to minimise any um, modifications required in, in changing out lead acid versus uh, lithium. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing that people who do want to upgrade to lithium, they might have a battery tray or they might have a battery box that's already inside their RV. Um, everything's already contained in that space. So from a size perspective, let alone performance, but from a size perspective, the casing and everything just drops straight in. Wiring and all those types of things might have to be changed, but definitely it makes it a lot easier to do an upgrade. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, I mean, people also install um, lead acid batteries in their four wheel drives, a secondary battery, myself included, um, to power things like winches and um, you know fridges and that sort of thing. Is, is that a straight swap? Can I just take my battery out, my secondary battery, and put in a lithium instead? Yeah, look, it depends where it's installed. Um, just like uh, in an AGM, we don't really recommend that they go in under bonnet due to the heat. Uh, they're, they're okay with heat, however, it will uh, greatly reduce the life of your, of your lithium battery. So it's, uh, it's not recommended uh, that we do put it in under bonnet next to the, um, the, uh, the engine due to the heat. Apart from that though, uh, put no problems. Put it in the boot, that's put okay. Put it in the, the cargo boot, area. fine, in yep. the cargo area is fine. We've, uh, we've had vibration testing undertaken. We can go in the uh, in a tray, and we've been stored in trays under the, the main tray, mm. behind the seat, uh, etc. So um, just make no sure problems. it's well strapped down. Correct. It doesn't yeah. move around like and, everything and, else. And it, is, is that, um, you're talking I guess about your, your own sentry batteries, but is that something that would be true of most um, lithium batteries on the market? Uh, yeah, generally. Yeah. Generally, yes. yep. yep. And look, most installers or, um, of lithium batteries we would install a 30 to 40 amp um, fuse on the positive line. I mean, is that just good, good electrical practice? Yeah, well, yeah. it's recommended. And it is. Lead yeah. acid or lithium, we yeah. definitely recommend you going down the same path. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about the location of the battery um, in, a, in a caravan or motorhome? Does it have to be you know, close to the appliances or whatever to um, prevent things like voltage drop? doesn't have to be, but obviously if we want to minimise that and then we can reduce the amount of cabling, the thickness of the cabling, which you're doing, having your battery as close to the charger as possible, good, again, good installation practice. 
Well, thanks guys, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you check out the video next month when we're gonna be talking about all the safety aspects when it comes to lithium batteries for RVs.